What's going on? So word is, is that Barack Obama convinced LeBron James to pass it on that to come back, telling the players to come back, not to boycott. I got a lot of respect for Obama's character and what have you, but I don't understand this at all. It misses the boat. They don't need to be in that bubble no way, and the social unrest is real. I don't know what Obama was trying to accomplish with that. I don't get that at all. And LeBron James, he's one of the greatest players ever endorsed, and I got respect for him, but he gets on my nerves. I mean, he wants to be the king of everything. He got upset because Milwaukee and George Hill came out and took the protest of Baton first, and he cried, and he's got these people on TV crying because they feel he should have been first. Um, when you make a move, it don't matter who go first. It's important somebody makes that move. Why does it have to be a name brand to do it? It doesn't always have to be that way. Because nine times out of ten, the name brand is going to wait for other people to drop the shoe before they drop their shoes. You dig? So, he is too pompous in these trying to always be the first with it. Everybody got a lane. Everybody got a pocket. It's very condescending when he always talks about players beneath me and all this. I mean, there are players that are younger and probably haven't accomplished what they do. But guys are playing. If they're playing and making money. You're in the same boat, pretty much. Is he going to say Anthony Davis is beneath him? Because Anthony Davis ain't one jack. Think about it. Who's beneath you? Well, you you're going to have to reiterate that. Personally, what is Obama doing when Trump calls them a political organization and people are turned off because they see Black Lives Matter on the courts? They're not really feeling what they're doing anyway. I mean, personally, if the NBA, if the players really put their money together, create your own league. You might not get paid as what you're getting, but I always have felt black players should have had their own league. I've always had a problem with Jewish NBA commissioners, because how come there ain't never been a black commissioner? Like Oscar Robinson, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I'm going to say it like this it's pro black, it ain't anti nothing. So before anybody misconstrues, get their face off bent. I'm just saying, pro-black, not anti-nothing. But why not? Why not black commissioners? Why not more black ownership? Michael Jordan had to sell a gajillion dollars worth of shoes just to get his have get his five billion just to buy a stake in a team that sucks. He couldn't even get to be owner of the Bulls and got a partial ownership with the Wizards. And he's the only one that don't even make no sense. As long as the NBA's been around. And all these great players don't work together. It's white control and white operated. If it wasn't for all this slogan talk, right? And don't tell me they ain't black folks ain't got the corn. They just don't want to let them in. And don't tell me black players ain't got no corn. They don't work together. Why not? Why not? Because mm-hmm. Danny Ainge... Is the general manager of the Celtics. Mm-hmm. And he was a role player back in the day. Think about that. Mm-hmm. See, white league takes care of white players. Larry Bird was a team president and a coach in the Indiana Pacers. Kevin McCare, remember? Minnesota Timberwolves, remember? Operations. Don't tell me that the standards ain't double. And why would Obama get in this? When Trump's already doing everything to this black folk. It made no sense and no difference to be out there. The protests need to be real. Or to get a nice check from the massa. Say you're a good boy. We get a cookie and pat you on your head. I bump that. Black players need to have their own league. And Craig Hodges was on the ball with it. You see what they do when you're black and you speak out. Kaepernick. I am not trying to hear this so-called fake woke white folk up here talking about well, the social institutionalized racism and it's what you gonna do about it, white owners? Are you gonna partner up and get more black folks in there on ownership and general managers? Are you gonna make some changes? Are you gonna have more black folks in the stands and faces of color broadcasting? Or are you just gonna give lip service? 
So no, I don't condone Obama telling LeBron to go on out there and tap dance on the plantation. Bump that. The NBA need to be boycotted. They were making a real stance. You see how shook they were for 24 hours. Had them flip. Could you imagine if that had gone on longer? What they did to me was a joke. That's why I call it fake woke. Because if you really want to make them shake, you got to have some real demands. Ownership, black general management, head coaching jobs, real revenue, real say. Not this token tap dancing on the plantation and being happy for the massa. Bump that. You got to change the game when you got leverage. And they ain't smart enough to change the game with leverage. If I pay you $50 million and that guy's sitting in that box for $500 million, you are zero off. You need to negotiate better than that. And that's what they're not doing. They let LeBron walk around with this imaginary crown. He ain't owning nothing. He can't even buy the chumpest team in the NBA. Meanwhile, they pimp off of him. Yeah. Think about that. Think about Donald Sterling five years ago, which ain't that far ago. Mm-hmm. I don't condone this. So I got an issue with Obama telling LeBron and the NBA to go back to play. I ain't clapping for that. That's heinous. Give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell rings. New video. Watch your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And you better stand for something because the money ain't always that important unless you got some say.